Beards have been around since the dawn of man, and their presence is only increasing around the world. They are confidently displayed on mainstream media, in corporate settings, police departments, and all sorts of other industries where they may have been frowned upon just a few decades ago. And they are not going away. But styles of beards certainly do change over time, so we wanted to cover a few that we are fans of. Number one, the classic full beard. Nothing quite captures the essence of masculinity like a well-groomed full beard. This is a timeless style that is as strong in 2023 as it's ever been. But what is considered a full beard? To me, a full beard can range in length, but it's more so guided by where you define your line. A full beard requires your cheeks to be high and full and your neckline to be underneath your jawline, usually just above your Adam's apple. This will give your side beard profile a much fuller, get it, appearance. Now, once your lines are set, you can grow to your desired length. And just so it's said, you can't just line up some stubble and have it be considered a full beard quite yet. Generally speaking, you want about three months worth of growth or more to have it really start to get some thickness to it. Now, what I love about this style is you can play with the length and let it grow much longer to find the length that suits you best. Number two, the faded beard. Though you can absolutely do this yourself and we have videos to help you, we can thank most barbers for bringing this style into trend the last couple of years it can take some skills with the trimmer to really dial this look in. The fade really takes place in two spots, the sideburn area and the cheeks. The idea is to take the hair shortest right at the middle area of your ear, oftentimes down to a skin fade. And then the hairs get longer as it gradually fades into your beard and it fades up into your hair. This can be done with shorter beards, but it also works extremely well for long beards too. It makes a huge impact on how intentional your beard grooming looks. The one downside in my opinion, is this style does grow out and the look changes significantly in just a couple of weeks. So if you wanna rock a faded beard, absolutely do it. Just keep in mind that you're gonna to need to check in with your barber or trim it at home yourself much more regularly. Number three, the corporate beard. A corporate beard might be one of the most common beards globally for a few reasons. It's essentially a full beard that's just kept a little bit tighter. It's closely cropped nice and tight, but has respectable length, usually no more than two to three inches at the longest. I recommend to keep your cheek lines nice and high and trim or shave in a proper neckline just above your Adam's apple, just like a full beard. This style should be accepted in nearly any work environment in 2023 with only a few exceptions. Because it's shorter, you want to groom it regularly to keep the length from getting out of control. My recommendation is to find a weekly trim schedule that works for you so it's always looking great. Whether that's every Monday or every Sunday, find a schedule and stick to it. A high quality at home beard trimmer is a must for this style. So if you haven't picked one up yet, consider our Ceramic Blade MT1 as it's the best tool for any at-home trim. And number four, the compliment beard. Now, this one I kind of just made up here, but hear me out. There's a certain length of beard that really seems to start getting noticed. Yeah, sure, a nicely cropped corporate beard is a killer look, but chances are you're just gonna blend in with a lot of other guys with a similar looking beard. Now for me, after about six to eight months worth of growth and a nice full handlebar shape, I seem to get significantly more compliments from both men and women. It's these longer, fuller, more powerful beards that seem to show the world that you're committed to growing and grooming a seriously impressive beard. And people take notice. I will say, it gets critical to check on areas of your beard so it's not growing wild and free. With over 30,000 beard hairs on a man's face on average, they aren't gonna grow in the same direction and always cooperate. As your beard gets longer, it takes more attention to keep it looking intentionally groomed and organized. And we're here to help you along the way. At the end of the day, guys, you should grow whatever the heck beard style that gives you the most confidence in what you feel best about. Who cares about trending styles or what other people like? Whatever feels best to you is what you should rock. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about how to achieve these styles or anything at all, hit us up anytime. Thank you for your support. It truly means the world to us. And as always, live bearded, brothers.